You might have heard or read somewhere how traders claim to see what actually happens at price levels where in the forex market, be it order block liquidation, liquidity grab, or institutional money demand zone. The important thing is, all such talks is a complete nonsense. In fact, no one knows what's going on at specific exchange rate levels in the spot forex market. Traders who claim that the price action they observe is telling them exactly what's happening are simply being delusional. The key point to understand here is that different market causes can One question many new, and sometimes even experienced, traders ask is whether it is a good idea to wait out a bad trade and let it finally return to profit rather than just let it close by a stop loss? This question is totally normal and all traders probably wondered about this. However, the answer to it is almost always no. There are two problems with waiting out bad FX trades. It is likely that the exchange rate will never recover to level for your trade to become profitable. Not in a year, not even in 10 years. You could have bought US dollar to Swiss franc at its high in October 2000, and you would still hold a massive loser of a trade 21 years later. You are missing potentially profitable opportunities to trade by keeping your margin locked, both to keep the trade active and to cover its floating loss. Besides, you would also be paying rollover fees every day to keep the position open. By not using a stop loss, you do not realize your floating losses, improving your overall on balance profitability. While in many cases, it will work well, you will successfully wait out negative periods to close trades with some profit, eventually, it will lead to eternal losing position. I often see people who are interested in becoming a Forex trader wondering if they aren't too old for that. Is it ever too late to start in Forex? First things first, Forex trading is a skill, and as with any other skill, the earlier you start, the easier you will learn. Nevertheless, it is really never too late to start trading Forex because, like any other skill it can be learned at any age. It is true that young people have some advantages when starting off in the Forex industry, namely, supported of their parents, few responsibilities, and enthusiasm in learning new stuff. Most Forex traders, especially nowadays, start out young because they have plenty of free time, they see the ads, they get attracted to the promoted lifestyle, and they dive into the world of currency trading with lots of hopes. Their career rarely goes well, after all, about 75-90% to 90 of traders lose money, after which they might switch to something else. Years pass, and at some point in their life, they might decide to return to FX trading with a more systematic, maturer, approach. There is nothing wrong with that, and it could be argued that re